Hey guys, what's happening? Will and James here, Press Start TV, E3 2016. We're here with Mackie, lead player, or lead single player designer with Titanfall 2, the lead player, player two, yeah. of Titanfall 2. <laughs> uh, Mackie, uh, this game is amazing. We just got done with our hands on with it. it it's just a ton of fun. Tell us some of the differences, uh, first of all, with single player. Uh, I know that's a big change, uh, but tell us some of the main differences, in your opinion, from Titanfall to Titanfall 2. Um, well, obviously, like you just said, a big one is that we're going to have a single player campaign. This is a full single player campaign. It's got a story, it's got characters, it has moments, and it has our unique blend of that pilot and Titan gameplay that was signature to Titanfall, but reimagined to fit a narrative structure. Would you say that was the number one request for this title? You know, there's a lot of different gamers out there, but something that was obvious from very early on was that there's an excitement for the kind of campaign that we make. And even though we had a campaign multiplayer in the first game, uh, it didn't quite, you know, didn't necessarily like itch. It didn't didn't do it for people in the way that we really wanted to. Even though it was a very popular mode, it was our second most popular game mode was the campaign multiplayer. So there's something there, but in all the players shooting at you. You know, it's it's a little hard to follow the story, yeah. having other players in a competitive match with you. What was your inspiration when you decided to come up with a campaign story? Um, something not everybody may know is that we actually started on a campaign for the first game for Titanfall, and we got about halfway through when we realized with the time we had left, we really had to put all our eggs in one basket, either single player or multiplayer. And we felt like if we picked multiplayer, we could innovate more on the pure gameplay and then build from there. So we put those plans on ice for the single player and focused our attention on multiplayer and shipped that game. So when we went back to start on this one, we dusted off those ideas to see which of them really still fit with the universe that we had created and that could we could turn into missions for this campaign. And we found that a couple of them really worked well and they kind of served as a foundation that we could start building around. So we brought some of our earlier ideas and combined them with fresh new ideas based on our new experiences with Titanfall and that was a starting point and helped us find our the uh, our nexus, our um, pilot and Titan relationship that the story's built around. Right, as well it should. And, and you know, I'm, that was for me personally, I was just most excited about seeing, well there's so many things they could do with this, I'm curious to see where they go with it, so you know what I mean? James. Uh, I heard there was magic in the campaign mode, can you tell me how that plays into it? Because I couldn't exactly tell from the multiplayer if it was there. Well, you know, we haven't really shown that much for the single player at this point. We showed the campaign, and I think it's important to note that Titanfall is a deep universe. We've got, we, it takes place on the frontier, where the IMC and the militia are trying to take over. And the IMC is trying to run things. They're like a government, and the militia just wants, you know, wants to be more like a, the Wild West. They want it not so much a restriction. Or people What's the know. IMC for people at home that maybe don't know? The IMC is one of the sides that you played in the original Titanfall. They're like the military. They're the government. They, they're they like the corporations that want to tell everybody what to do and build robots. And That's not cool. So <laughs> as far as magic goes, like I said, it's a rich universe with a long history that that uh, precludes even the arrival of the militia and the IMC. So there's some some unknowns there to unlock within the lore that I think will be really interesting for people. Um, and another thing that I noticed from watching the uh, the uh, scenarios for the single player for the game, uh, it kind of seems like you build a much like bigger relationship with your mech in this one. Is that true? Yeah. Absolutely. The pilot and Titan relationship is is just so core to the Titanfall experience. This isn't a game you know, where you don't get to call in a Titan. This isn't a game where you have to fight over who's going to get the Titan. Titanfall is about you being a pilot and then you being a Titan. So we had to bring that to the single player. And the way to really make you connect, we thought, was to cast that Titan as a character that you could grow connected to instead of having, like, a reusable or uh, disposable character. So we had both those options on the play, and we decided to go with the character you could connect with. And we put a lot of energy and experimentation into building that bond. I think that was a wise decision. Because even in the trailer, I was I was getting that to come across. Like the mech was something that you're really going to bond with, and if it actually starts to take damage or something, you're gonna you're gonna feel for that. Yeah, yeah if it takes too much damage and blows up, you're gonna feel for it because you're gonna go back. <laughs> does it cry? Does it again. does it like cry out in pain or anything? That you know, it's it's a robot. He's like, oh uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna be dead. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah. I'm Help dead. me, human. <laughs> you have failed us all. So what would you say is uh, the biggest addition to the multiplayer side of things on uh, Titanfall 2? Well, one of the big things we're doing with this one. These Woo! people just played and you can, you know, they, they've experienced it, yeah. Uh, like you may have seen that we've got uh, unique 
signature character titans. <laughs> they, either that elevator's really tight or they really enjoy the game. But, uh, <laughs> there's a fire! No, there was. But, um, so we got six titans this time, and each one is a unique titan. They've each got their own name, their own voice, and um, their own set of unique abilities that all kind of synergize and tie together. So in the first game, we identified that one of the things that made it difficult for players to keep playing was that the titans, it was hard to tell what a titan was going to do at a glance. Yeah. So we took away some of the customization aspects of their loadout and instead infused them with flavor and really specific abilities that are balanced around each other. I noticed that the chassis were distinguishable this right, time. Right, so I mean, saw nice. like Scorch yeah. was of like a flame titan and Ion. She is a, like a laser centric titan with a core ability where the laser comes out of her chest and just annihilates anybody that's full enough to get yeah, in her I way. played Scorch and I got my core up and I was like, I don't know what this does. To the ground, giant fire thing, it's just like dead, 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 dead. It's like, yeah. okay, well, that worked out for me. Yeah, that's not a bad way to go. You know, if you have to go, you might as well take everybody with you. Yeah. Well, I just I love your game for some reason. Even when I played Titanfall 1, my first multiplayer match, I owned unnecessarily so. Like, I didn't, I was like unnaturally good. I was like, cool, this game was apparently catered to me. I don't know. But yeah, it was it's, it was a great title. Awesome. Back to Will. Yeah, yeah cool. sure. Just one question also about the multiplayer. You guys, um, I mean, esports is obviously becoming bigger and bigger and bigger. When you guys were designing, did you have esports in mind? I think that we designed, first of all, for the guy that just wants to relax and play a shooter sure. at the end of the day. There's a. Uh, they're, they're more like us, and there's more of them. Yeah. And um, if, if people fall in love with the competitive side, like some people have with the CTF element of the first game, I mean, we're open to that. We want to support that. And we, had, we did a private match in the first game. And it's definitely something where if the community wants it and if there's really the interest there, then we'd follow that. But I don't think you can necessarily force an eSports sure. into a title. If you do, uh, that hasn't worked out so well for some titles. Sure. So it's something that you have to just kind of like grow organically. Yeah, and, and I love to hear you say that because it is just a fun game. I mean, we did the multiplayer experience and we just had a blast. I mean, nine's off camera right now, but he, we, we were all just loving it and, and digging it. And you guys are developing for both PS4, PC, and Xbox excellent. One, yeah, yeah. yeah, excellent. And then the release date again? October 28th. October 28th, Titanfall 2, guys, it is great. Check it out. So excited for the campaign. Mac, thank you so much, man. Thank you. Really guys. appreciate it. All right, all right. Keep it here on Press Start TV.